Hold on. Hello, everybody. I'm here with the fabulous Michelle, and she's actually taking a picture real quick of her own nails, which is hilarious. Right. Oh, no. It looks like I'm on at the same time as Amy Masters, so my apologies to those who can only watch one thing at once. But uh, I'm going to be removing, I've had a request, someone wanted to see my nails being done. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We are going to remove Miss Shayla's last set, which if you remember was my nails last time <laughs> because Shayla likes to do what I do. She doesn't any longer decide what she's going to have or not her nails. She just says, oh, that looks good. I'm doing that. Yeah, that's so, it. Yeah. Right? Right. Keep it simple. simple. I'm looking great. <laughs> Keep it simple. All right. So I'm going to flip this on. This is a little bit dusty, but I just shook it out. Um, this is my zebra sanding band that I love so much. And you can use whatever sanding bands or uh, bits that you like, but this sanding band just... I feel like they just take it off so nicely and it's not bumpy. And I can slow down the speed. I always get worried if I'm using any of the fancy bits, like the orange crush or the mean green. You can't really slow down the speed so much. So getting real close to the cuticle like this is a little bit finicky. So this will just let me do this. How's the length? You need them shorter yet? Whatever you think. Yeah, she don't. She doesn't give me any feedback. So. <laughs> These are like the true definition of my nails on somebody else because she don't give me nothing. She's like, wear them how you want, see them how you want. Hey, Charlene. All right, one side to the other. So what she has on her nails now is the lovely brazen and the sparkle uh, teal crush. I believe if someone's out there and I'm wrong feel free to let me know but as you can see she doesn't have a lot of lifting or anything like that and I have been using Trinity on everybody this is how well Trinity is holding up so I'm really happy with it and these are about three weeks old I believe that was a nod you're allowed to talk, okay. you know. I'm and you're, you're you're also supposed to read. So oh, okay. if anyone says anything, okay. let me know. Hi, Jess. Finally made a live, Miss Christine. And she tells you that the Zebra bands are the bomb. They are the bomb. <laughs> I searched high and low for these, let me tell you. And when I found them, I'm like, send me all of them. So I carry these at my store because I love them so very much. They really let me get nice and close to the cuticle, but still really removes all the colors, all the color really fast and keeps it smooth. Using a carbide bit, you have to be a little bit more careful because carbide bits cut and diamond bands and zebra bands or arbor bands, they sand. And so you get a different finish on the nail depending on what kind of bit you're using. So a lot of people are huge fans of carbide bands or carbide bits, and that's totally fine. They're reusable. These are single use. I toss them after each client. So. Nancy Bergeron said, hey, Hey, Nancy. Uh, yeah, do a post. We were talking yesterday. Do a post on, in your world of Canada up there and see if anyone's interested in me doing a class because you're probably part of a Canadian group that I'm not in. Um, and kind of get an idea if someone wants one that day, I'd be happy to do something, but if not, I will, I'll catch up on computer work because there is always that, let me tell you. Well, I can't do computer work and nails at the same time, you know. Computer won't let you do anything else. It's always possible. Otherwise, you'll have cocktails with Miss Nancy, she says. Yes. I know that's right. Hey, I'm coming. <laughs> well, I'm going up and doing the summit with accents, and then I have another class that I'm doing with another. So I'm going to be 
busy for a bit. All right, so I'm gonna look at these and see how her length is. I try not to let her get too crazy. <laughs> but she never has an opinion. <laughs> she just says, you do what you do. Yeah, thank you. So, she's doing well with them, so I won't take a lot of length off. Because oh, I know, I thumb. know deep down. You gonna kick my bun. Yeah. What'd you do? Moving boxes. Why? Oh, I see it. Yeah. A little crack. Now, why'd you do that? I tell me, me and this box, we didn't do well after that. There was some expletives going on. How was the move? How's your new place? Full of boxes, but it's new and we're happy to be there. So, thank you. Yay. Yeah. Moving is the worst. Oh, my God. The worst. Yeah. Ever. It really exposed my mental health to me. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. Very quickly. Oh. She says, see all that move? Woo, that's not happy. All right, so here's how I'm going to fix this. So when you have someone that comes in with a crack on their nail, you want to remove it without causing a lot of damage. So I'm actually going to use the end of my band and go right onto the crack. And very carefully, I'm going to cut this off. So we can sculpt out a new nail on this bad boy very lightly. I'm using a foot pedal, um, which allows me to slow my speed way down when I get down towards her natural nail, which is really important. If you're using a piece where you have to constantly crank it and uncrank it, you got to be a little bit more careful um, that you're not letting your speed go too high. So I'm removing the product from here. That is a brutal crack. That was the end of my moving day, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't know why you were lifting boxes anyway. No, That's was, not your job. No, I was your pulling, husband moved stuff. Yeah, I was pulling out. I was trying to pull out some stuff and it didn't go as planned. The slowing down, trying to see what we have here. Ow. <laughs> All right, well, we had to get another storage unit. Oh, not a big enough house? No, 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 no. I would need one almost like yours because of my valuability mental health issues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're trying to be real careful with this broken nail here. And I'm trying to decide my best plan of action at the moment. Definitely not to do that. All right. Just very carefully with the end of my file along her free edge. So I'm going past her natural nail. Cutting this off. This is over the top of her nail bed, so I can't do it there. I have to do it higher. All right, hold on one second. This is when you get to see the surgeon. This is precision right here. <laughs> you got to go to medical school for 10 years for this. I'm just going to get this last little piece. This is like a little bonus. I didn't know we had oh, a yeah. problem. There we go. So now I'll be able to, I'm just going to actually put gel right over the top of this to seal that back in. And we will toss her old little tip. Create a new one. Make sure that smoothed out. So I will um, be reforming this and I, I can cut off this part that's totally flapping. See, so we're right down to skin. All right. That is that. Let's move on to hand number two, get her prepped. That was a Netflix special right there. <laughs> Oh, I love Shayla. She's enjoying y'all. So if y'all are enjoying Shayla, say hi. Because she's reading your comments. So, like I was saying, is I have a foot pedal. I love foot pedals. 
Um, and I'm super excited about the brand new e-files coming from Koopa. Right now they're on pre-order, so they're being manufactured and being sent our way. Um, but they actually have a Bluetooth foot pedal option, which is so cool because you can, um, then you can have one, you know, if you have a problem with too many cords, like in your pedicure area, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't like to have a lot of cords over there because you're rolling around on a bench and everything, but you can have your foot pedal right there and I can run foot pedal in my pedicure area, which is pretty cool. Um, or if you don't have a foot pedal yet and you're like, ooh, that sounds awesome. Bluetooth foot pedal, so cool. My mind can't even figure out how that's working, the Bluetooth and then the Yeah, uh, I don't know how Bluetooth yeah. works at yeah. all. Yeah. Let me give my hand a shake. Early morning, sometimes I get a little carpal tunnel before my hand gets used to working, but I was doing nails till 10.30 last oh. night, so. Oh, man. My hand's like, uh, take a day off, yeah. but no. Right. Because we go camping tomorrow. Oh, where are we going camping? Uh, right outside Leavenworth, oh, okay. but hopefully I get to go take a picture first, some pictures of some baby, Aww. because on the side, some of you may not know that I like to do some photography, mm -hmm. and one of my friends, Miss Sarah, for those of you who met Sarah at my wedding or whatever, she had a baby, his name is Joel, Aww. and right. he is probably the most beautiful little baby boy Aww. I've ever seen. He is for you people. Wonderful. Congrats, darling. So, you got to do newborn pictures like within 12 days, so you can't take too long. Oh, is that the rule? Yeah, if you want to be able to pose them after oh. 12 days, they aren't having it. Oh, okay. They okay. will wake up, they will move around, they're not happy about it. Miss Heather says, hi Jess. Hello Heather. So, if you want to see some of my old pictures from my photography days, and I used to do a little bit more of it. Um, I do have a Facebook page that has a couple pictures on it. Well, it has a bunch from when I used to do it. Uh, but it's under my maiden name, which many of you don't know that I was not always Friar Moon. So my maiden name is Hole, H-O-E-L, so it's just Hole Photography. Um, so you can look on there if you want. There is, I did a baby shoot, oh gosh, I can't believe it's been two years already, two years ago for Little Miss Avery, and I, it was like my favorite picture because I taught her smiling, which is really like a rarity, so <laughs> so excited about that picture. We'll see if I can get little Joel to smile. Oh, All right. Hello, Heather. She's sweet. What'd you say? She said hi to your client too and everyone here. I also do hobby photography. Yeah, Heather's a hobby nail tech. <laughs> she does a few people at home. I know that's but right. But mostly just gets to hang out and see what everyone's doing on their videos and have hobbies. She's got animals so she never goes nowhere. But someday she'll be able to join us. She won't have to say, I wish I could go. She'll actually be there. Cocktails are waiting. And then Miss Jada Cunningham said, I love watching your work, Jess. Aw, oh, Jada. We like Jada. I've known Jada forever. My goodness. Back from when we used to do, like, I think the premier beauty show when we all used to stay in condos was when I got to know Jada. Ooh. And Christina Villanova. I hope I said it right. Hi, Jess. I bought stuff from you. I bought some Trinity from you and was wondering if you can use a non acid primer with you. Yeah, you can use any primers that you want. So if you have a client that's coming in and they're new or you know they tend to just be oily, yeah, for sure. Use your non-acid primer and your acid primer if you want to um, and give it a shot. I have found that with Trinity, I haven't even needed to. Um, as you can see, she hasn't really gotten any lifting and I didn't use any primer on her. So some of my clients, I haven't I've been noticing there's no need. You just go straight to Trinity and you're done. So it's been really nice. Oh, that little spot. Do you see that flake off? That means a bad cure, which means her thumb was sitting too far underneath. So that give a mental note. Tell her to lift her thumb up in the light. I need lots of mental notes just so you all know. 
<laughs> Heather said, um, I want to come to nail camp so bad, especially out west, because I've never been further than Missouri. Oh, Heather, come on, darling. The west coast awaits. <laughs> oh, we have an exciting announcement. So for those of you who are watching and planning to come to Boise, we have had one more educator get added. I've ordered the postcards now, so for heaven's sake, no more educators. <laughs> Because I, I don't like people being missed out on the postcards, but um, the amazing and wonderful Tanya Sisson, who's been doing nail camp for many, many years, is coming. And she is now a certified life coach. So she is going to be doing all things relating to kind of how you deal with clients and your goals and things like that. So not going to be technical skills. She's not with CND anymore, um, but more along with how to you know make it through the day and how to uh be happy at the end of the day and what goals you have for your career and your plans so cool. pretty excited that she is going to be able to make it i saw her on sunday and she's like i said hey are you going to come to camp and she's like oh, let me think about it and that night she was signed up so oh, that's cool. very excited tanya's joining us and um we have quite the full roster of people i think there was there's 17, 17 educators, I believe. So it, it's going to be so many classes. Um, and if you haven't done nail camp, there's a lot of, uh, it's very almost one-on-one -on -one because we have so many classes, but we only allow about 100 nail techs. So. Okay. Hey, Heather says she wants awesome. to try Trinity. Christina said, thank you for answering my question. I of love course. your work. You make the application look flawless every time. Oh. Then there's more, but I don't know how to do the rest. You hit oh, oh, okay, thank you. Hopefully I can master it like you one day. Oh, that's very Aww, sweet. Very nice. All right, so get your tools prepared here. Hopefully I'm centered. All right, so first things first, I'm just going to push back her cuticles. Push, push, push. And then I'm gonna be switching to my fancy prep bit that I love so much. I find myself using it more and more. There's a couple clients who don't like um, the feeling of prep bits, but a lot of clients are like, oh, look how clean and beautiful my cuticles are. So I go old school and just scrape down the nails of the people that uh, don't do it. And if there's a lot that someone has on their nail plate, I'll actually do a double check after I do the prep bit as well. But not a lot of work there, just pushing it back. I'm going to pop out my zebra and pull out of my disinfectant tray one of my bits. I always keep uh, about three or four in there at a time. Make sure they are clean. This is the 29, I think it's the 29S or Sharp. Um, and it is my favorite. If someone has cuticles stuck down on the side here, you'll want to definitely, um, well, I'll probably do it in reverse as well on her, just because I like to get into that cuticle real well. But this is going to lift up the cuticle and prep it a bit as we go. This is really cool for me to learn and listen because usually we're talking about other things and I'm saying bad words. So this is really cool. <laughs> oh, I love Shayla. You want to tell people how I met you? <laughs> okay. Do you know your first phone call to me? I remember your first I, phone call like to me. But I like when you say it better. <laughs> so you go. I probably told people this story before, so they may have heard it because I'm sure you, you've been on video before. A couple times. Yeah, a couple times because... You know, she's so fabulous. Oh, thank you. But I was driving down the uh, bridge, 520, to go pick up my daughter and dropped her off from school. And you're like, hi, my name's Shayla. And I'm dying to be your next new client. Absolutely. And I started cracking up. I thought I was going to crash my car. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Because I had stalked her for months because I wanted to make sure that when I finally started, I wouldn't stop. And so I didn't know the process, you know, booking online, because as you all don't know, is I am not technological at all. And so I just had to let her know I needed to be with her however we needed to do it. And we've been hanging out ever since. Yeah. And so Miss Jody Watson, and please excuse me if I say your name incorrectly, 
is when a client sits in my chair, it's a ther therapy session for them. When I watch Jess work, it's a therapy session for me. Oh, now that Aww. is hot. Wow. That gives me all warm and fuzzy. I'm, I'm trying to, shit, I'm fuzzy. Excuse me. I'm fuzzy too. <laughs> all right. So I'm done with that. And I'm going to dust real quick. All right. And then we are going to go to filing. So I'm going to be using a 100-100 file, and I say that with a little bit of sadness because my zebra files are still on back order. So now I used 100-100 files forever with accents, so this is not like it's a bad file, but you know, I like the zebra just a little bit better. 100-100s, I feel like you got to be a little bit more careful because... They like to keep their sharpness, I feel like, a little bit. And I'm so finicky about making sure I'm not going to cut any clients that I really try to smooth that out. Okay. Toss your old file. And then we're about to make a lot more dust. And Heather loves your videos, too. She seconded Jody. Oh, you guys are so nice. Oh, shit. I'm coming here all the time. It just <laughs> makes me feel good. So, all right, so I'm gonna go sidewalls. So you have to be kind of careful when you're dealing with nails this long. There, It is not gonna be the same as working with shorter nails. You've gotta be a lot more careful with how the sidewalls are looking. And if I wanted these to be straight from the bottom all the time, I would have to re-sculpt your nails every other time. And that's a lot of times to re-sculpt them. Um, it's just the way her natural nails are kind of growing. And so you can either work with it or you can now and then go, okay, we're going to re-sculpt this one. Um, this time we're going to re-sculpt that broken one. So you kind of have to figure out what's going to work for you and your client. Um, but we like to focus on her nails being pretty, make sure they're strong. And she's, you, I, get me if I'm wrong, but perfectly content with how her natural nails yeah, grow. Yeah, I'm, I'm perfect. At this age and stage of the game, I'm about to be content with everything. I'm too tired. So we, uh, I make sure that they're looking correct um, with what I got to work with. Mm -hmm. And we move on and I make sure I push around the cuticle one last time, make sure everything's prepped well. Moving on, get down in that groove so that you make sure you get that turquoise out of there. And I'm not taking a lot off, but I am giving it a, a reshape a little bit. Where's my husband? I need him to come downstairs because he's upstairs doing something, but I need a new jar, Trinity. So, <laughs> as some of you may have seen yesterday when I was doing my video, I was about out and I didn't go get one. And so now it's time because my jar that is sitting next to me has about a drop left. So I'm going to go around, make sure that this is all properly prepped. A lot of people get lifting in their sidewalls, and a lot of that's because they're not getting in there and making sure you prep those sides. Mm. So please make sure that you're getting in there with the side of your file, because it's just as important as the top. I don't know who that was. It might be a kitty. We have a kitty that comes around now. It's so cute. I was talking to it one night. Mm -hmm. Because we have a ring, right? So that's the little chimes that you hear is the ring for the door. And <laughs> I'm like, who is that? And it was like 1030 at night, 1130 at night. And I look on the ring and it's this sweet little brown kitty. And I'm like, oh. So I turn on the speaker and I'm like, hey, kitty. <laughs> and I'm like, meow, meow. <laughs> and the cat's looking up at the door and kind of tilting its head. <laughs> and he sits down and stares at the door like, are you going to come out and talk to me? And then Jared, of course, is like, I want to go pet it. So he runs the door. And I'm like, you brat, you scared that kitty off. <laughs> I was having a conversation. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, so he scared away the cat. So we have two little cats that walk around. So we'll catch them on video now and then. All right, so we're just reshaping. So last time she came in, I did what uh, Cindy Wallston taught me, which is called underwear. So if you see underneath here, it's a little bit shiny. It's because I used um, Build 
underneath. So I filed these real smooth with my e-file and then I did a coat of build on them. Do you see how they're a little bit shiny? It keeps the natural nail um, from it doing any separation or anything, which is really nice. So we did that last time. We won't have to do it every time, um, but every now and then I'll do that just to make sure everything's growing out and staying smooth. This is fun. <laughs> Yeah, client hanging out here. Right. You see who's there? You know that I one. I know that name, absolutely. <laughs> you can say hello to her. Hi, Becky. <laughs> you have the coolest last name in the world. It's a brilliant parent. I would never have that last name, just so you know. Tell them the funny thing about your last name when you got married. Oh, well, my husband and I already had the same last name when we got married. So the running joke is we were brother and sister, which I really don't care. So I told him keep the rumor going. <laughs> Makes me no difference. So she's been Collins her whole life. Yep. Since back in the 1800s. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're a baby. All right. So I'm just going to check and see how far off the length is. See how far off that is. These two are fine. This one's too long. So I'm going to take my e-file real quick. And bring that down. Much better. Let's do a quick reshape on that. Re-thin it out. Very important to make sure that you're not got a thick end and that your arch is correct. Now, when you're filing the top of a nail, you want to make sure that you're not bouncing. Going from one side to the other is going to make it so that it's smooth and not bouncy. Alright. Oh, the sadness. That right moving disaster mm -hmm. moving's the worst it really is i don't think girls should have to do the mm -hmm. moving mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're married you should be like hey i didn't marry you just so i would have to move boxes all by myself he did all of it except i had to open them and figure out what was going back did you not have village. a razor blade no 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 not the i mean not the i was pulling out so he would open them i would pull out but all the stuff that I had got from Value Village had to go back to Value Village. It was a very contentious oh, no. situation. Yeah, because I had mental health issues in those did boxes. You, did you get as much back from Value Village as you got when you left it? Um, no, they didn't get everything back. Some of it stayed, but it had to go back. Ladies, I had a thrifting problem. And it's okay. Now I switched to chocolate. <laughs> So I'm checking these, see if we can get a new length on that. Particularly the truffles that you introduced me to. Yeah, I, I'm nice to my clients. They get lint when oh, they come. Yeah. They're a problem. And it's really because we discovered <laughs> them in uh, Switzerland. Switzerland. This last year, The Amazing Race was such a fun episode, series, I guess not episode, but series because they were all over Switzerland. And I was like, oh my gosh, we've been there. And it's, it was lovely. All right, I'm done with that hand. Okay. Okay. So, again, I'm going to come underneath here and try to make these as straight out as possible. I know. Heather knows. Yeah, truffles. Yes, indeed he do. It's its own meal group. <laughs> so the shape on this one is almost flat. So instead of taking so much off the top, we're going to give it some shape. Just like that. Jared. I heard him. He was missed at the uh, nail tech gathering this last week. People asked, where is Jared? Hello, darling. How are you? I need a jar of Trinity, please, sir. Good. How are you, darling? That's good. You look good. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. <laughs> when you get two of those in a day, count it. Two feeling goods in a day? Well, feel, feeling good and looking good on the same day. When oh. you get that, hold on to it. Because it's usually one or the other. <laughs> All right. Again, we're a little bit flat on this. I'm going to give it a little bit more shape to work with. Mm 
Now the trick is always to make sure you don't get a notch in the side of the nail because as the natural nail grows out, it's easy to notch it. And so I try to make sure I come underneath. Thank you, sir. Brand new jar. I've had a couple people ask me, why are you using Trinity instead of natural? Uh, if you didn't see the video yesterday, I've had news that Accents is trying to, um, they're wanting to discontinue all of their UV gels, which I prefer. So I have started to use Trinity quite a bit more, partially because I noticed that um, some of the clients I was putting it on that maybe had used to get a little bit of lifting were getting none. And I'm like, all right, well, hmm, maybe I like this gel after all. And what I don't like is how runny it is. So I have to go back and forth a lot. Um, that's definitely not my favorite thing. But at this point, I am about using whatever is going to give me these results where after three weeks, there's not even a hairline lift. That's what I want. Um, and in general, quite strong when you're not moving boxes. So. <laughs> You don't break nails very often. How long have you broken nail? Um, what is it? July, probably February. February. And with this length of nail, that's pretty darn good, I'd oh, have to say. That, that's excellent, especially given who I am. Okay, Heather says... Oh, hi, Tanya. Heather says, I'm finally getting enhancements back on after 14 months of not having any. I'm going to Sweden in two weeks. Ooh, hold on. And let me push this see more business, Lord. Come on going you're going away i thought you never travel well that's exciting my one nail tech friend in my town will be doing my nails yay enjoy them darling wave to everybody you see all right almost done with prep here cuticle push 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 if I had a if she was a customer who had a lot stuck on her nail or if I was worried or concerned that there might be something else there take the scraper end of your pusher and give it a good scrape like just to make sure for example that that is not going to be something that causes lifting Heather says she travels once a year for family because they don't come here often Parents mm. are older and travel is tough. I know that's right. Alrighty. There we go. Prep is done. Go ahead and put your nails out. Oh, all of them? Okay. Yes, there you go. Okay. So I'm going to wipe these with nail prep. Uh, you can use prep and wipe if you'd like or an alcohol. I highly suggest you do not use scrub fresh. There's something in it that people tend to get more lifting with. So just use some nail prep. Or prep and wipe. All right, so those are clean, ready to go. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight to Trinity. Um, if she was someone who lifted, I might do more with uh, primers and things like that. But I do not need to with Miss Shayla. She's got a great thing. All right, so we have a long nail. So for long nails, I've been using these forms. I have like eight, if you're a nail tech like me, that you go to a lot of classes, you have eight million forms. So this is my long nail form. When I'm doing salon length, typically this is the pro tab forms, I'll use those. But for longer nails, I will use this form that's a little bit stiffer. I have lovely nail beds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, Summer said, you can read that. Okay, hold on. Jess, accents can't get, eliminate the UV line. I'm able to do nails faster with it, right? Is there anything we can do? Yeah, contact them and just say, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I am one of those who loves to use the UV line and please let me continue to carry it. And I may be the only distributor in the U.S. or even in Canada that still carries it, but they got to still make it for me. I mean... Or I asked them to just give me the formula and I will have a chemist make it for me because I have friends in the world that are chemists. I might've cut this too. I totally, I totally botched it. That's what happens when I'm talking and not thinking about what I'm doing. 
She doesn't actually have a lot of skin here on the side though, so I can probably get away with not even doing that. If someone has skin that sticks out on the side, you really need to notch it so you can get a decent C curve, but because she's got like no skin, she's gonna make it easy on me. Oh, thank God. <sighs> That's usually not me, <laughs> easy. <Yeah. laughs> and I can just come in on the side and do a couple of relief cuts if I want. And that will help me pinch a little bit more of a C curve and I can tuck that under there now. All right, so I'm not gonna use Trinity on this whole nail. I'm going to start with natural. Uh, actually, this is a long nail, so I'm gonna go straight to structure maybe. No. I'm pulling out into my world. All right, so we're gonna go UV here. So this is the UV builder, upside down, the UV builder, so also something that they'll probably continue or discontinue because they are they have structure which is the LED version um, and it cures a little bit faster I just don't think I have structure in my drawer right now oh wait yes I do it was hiding underneath two little tiny jars but I'm totally out so builder it is all right so builder does not have bonding gel in it so with builder i need to go ahead and put a bonding gel over here on this natural nail where i'm going to be doing this extension because otherwise we could end up with lifting and we don't want that i'm going to put that in so i'm going to be starting backwards i'm going to go ahead with trinity on this nail and i just roll it off around the cuticle and i use a little bit more for nails this long because i'm building into an arch and an arch is how you keep nails this long from breaking. Also, it looks way better than flat nails. So I roll it off, brush it down, and I'm not adding any bulk or anything onto the rest of the surface of the nail. It's basically just a slick layer. All right, gonna go ahead and put that in, come back with the other one. And I'm gonna build this whole extension in one ball. So I'm going to pull this out. Let me check the length of that thumb. Let's see how far down I gotta go to the five. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're coming all the way over. And structure works similar. Structure is just a little bit different um, stickiness. So it cures faster, which is why I'm out of it because I use it more often uh, when I need to rebuild a nail. But this is actually easier in my opinion to move around. And there's little tiny bubbles, but we're not doing glass nails. So it's not something I need to worry about. And as you cure this, I'm going to have you hold it straight up and down in the light so sure. the gravity doesn't pull it. Okay. Just do it on the sides of the lamp. The lights are on the sides. Okay. And some of your clients, you have to talk through. Even though we've been dating for ages, you still have to talk <laughs> through this. So she's just going to pay attention to the warmth. She'll go in and out. She, okay. She's not new. Oh. She knows. Uh -huh. Mortality. <laughs> She calls it mortality. Let me remind you that you are a mere mortal, darling. <laughs> All right, so going around the cuticle here. Do, 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 do. And I leave a little bit of a gap. You don't have to get it all the way in. About a one-week gap. And I'm just touching kind of on the back of where the arch is so that that arch will stay. Do you see how pretty that is? So nice. Go ahead and put that in. So we'll let that thumb keep curing as I get started on these nails because we've got to get these ones done. But it started curing. The UV gels do take longer to cure, um, especially if they're going in and out quite a bit. So. so looking at this, because this is going up quite a bit, um, this would be a situation where the next time she comes in, this will be the nail that I'm going to completely redo just because the way that it's arching up. Okay. <laughs> She's like, whatever. Yeah, it's your world, darling. She just wants them pretty. Mm -hmm. She 
she comes in and says, so what are we doing today? Let me see your nails. That's it. That's it. Put your whole hand in. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Make sure your thumb's in there. Okay. That's how we're going to get it cured all the way. So it doesn't take a whole lot of more time to go back a whole lot of more. That's correct grammar right there. Um, to go back and forth. It's just, it's not my ideal. I'd much rather do all five nails and then switch. But with Trinity, if I don't get it in the light, it's going to move on me. And I want it to be exactly where I put it. Nice and smooth. Perfect. Other hand, please. I touch the skin on that side. So before I put it in, I'm going to make sure I get that out with my orange wood stick. I don't know if you know, but I got orange wood sticks at a better price than just about anywhere else online that I've been able to find. So, and you should all be using them often if you are cleaning things up like I do. And they're one per client, so I go through the bag at least once a month. Okay, and just before I put that in, I'm gonna double check that spot, that touch. Next. But Trinity's nice because it does have bonding gel in it and your strength, and it also has gloss in it. So if you're doing an overlay, on somebody you can literally just do a coat of trinity over their natural nail and send them out the door and they're going to be shiny um i don't do that i don't let anyone go out the door without even without at least one i know i'm so mean without at least one coat of uh of a color so even if it's just blush which is our most neutral semi-translucent color they have to have one coat and the reason is is that on yeah. Okay. The reason is, is because even, you know, when you wear makeup, how it smooths out your skin and everything looks like a nice even tone. Well, that one coat of blush will give your nails a much more even tone. So it also adds quite a bit of strength. Man, he's being noisy over there. All right. It has a, quite a bit of strength with that one coat of uh, blush. And, um, and it's like makeup for your nails. You know, not that I know a ton about makeup because I really don't wear it. Right. I put makeup on last weekend for the skating party that we did. Uh -huh. Where we went to because uh -huh. Serena turned 18, the big one eight. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, by the time we were leaving, because when we drove down to Portland, my eyes were burning. I'm like, <laughs> all right, it's got to come off. So I just, I don't do makeup well. So it is a rare, rare thing, my friends, if you see me in makeup, so. Luckily, my husband doesn't care. Right. I can't wait to file that again. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more on this to make sure I'm covering the entirety of her nail. I'm keeping my arch where I want it, which is starting back here. Now, once I've covered the whole nail, if I decide I need some more right here in the middle, I can drizzle. But you've got to be quick about it because as you can see, it starts to run. This is why I love natural because natural does not run on me. Thumb up only? Yeah. So it's hard for me to get used to this because this is not the ideal way that I like to work. I don't like running your gels at all. So hopefully I can figure out how to keep natural in your all's world, whether I can get accents to continue making it or I find a chemist and have my own natural line. But there isn't anything else out in the, in the, in the world like it. So getting rid of it would make me sad. And they told me like 10 years ago when they, when they had started thinking about developing LEDs, that you're not going to get rid of natural. Oh no, because they're different. And da, 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 da. I said, okay, just want to make sure. 
how things change. I'm gonna put that in for a few seconds. Thank you. Okay, come back. Okay. The other one's done, so I'm just a nail behind on this. Oh, look what happened right there. Isn't that special? Oh, I think it got bumped. Sorry, darling. I went to the side, though. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna do this one in two coats, just because um, it's a lot of surface area and I wanna get this smooth-ish. So looking at it from the side, it will let me see where I need more gel. And I'm gonna flash cure this before it starts running on me and flattening out. Hello, Miss Robin. Here's my wrist assist. Robin makes wrist assist. Oh, okay, come and out. So, yeah. Right, let's see. See how it's already like, it flash cures so fast. Seconds, my friends, seconds. It does not take long. So I'm gonna get the rest in here. And just make sure that I have enough to file. It's better for me to have a little bit too much mm -hmm. to remove than have to come back and be like, oh, I need a little bit more in that mm -hmm. spot. So I'd rather get it a little bit too much than not enough. Mm -hmm. We'll put some in that corner because it was funky. All right, whole hand all the way in, please. Whole hand, okay, thank you. All righty. We just have to file that thumb and then we will be able to do colors. So let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be using Cosmo, yes. which is the color that I have on. So we're doing my nails. So in case you're wondering what we're doing, this is what we're doing. So this is Cosmo, which is a beautiful coral color, really bright, not as bright as hypnotic coral. So if you've been wondering, do we have a coral brighter? Let me show you. So hypnotic coral is part of our options line. And if this isn't empty, oh, I gotta stir it. Gotta make sure when you open your uh, options colors that you stir them. So this is a little bit more neon. So if you love, and a little bit more orange, this one's a little bit more pink, but this one is hypnotic coral. So if you've been looking for a neon coral, that is what you're going after. All right, and then we are going to use Aurora Pearl, which is that one, and it is so oh. sparkly. Oh yes, darling, I love that. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's one of my favorite Auroras now. And uh, this one, which is called, I believe, Costume Party. And I just like it. It's a really fun mix of just every kind of color that you could want. I'm going to start Instagramming like this situation. I'm going to be putting my daughter to work. Mm -hmm. So she's going to have to video how to do this. I'm not quite sure how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So y'all are going to see every single glitter moving in the light. which is going to be fun. So these are what I'm going to be doing with her nails. All right, get me back, please after we shape this bad boy. All right, so the trick is gonna be not to get too much dust on all the other nails. I'm gonna do most of this by hand, but I typically debulk and get the surface filed. With my e-file. Right. Now I'm going to again, pull the skin back. My camera. I'm way over. Sorry, guys. So I'm coming up straight and I'm rolling straight up and that's gonna create this perfectly 
uh, straight out or slightly tapered, which is what I'm going for, um, nail. If I make them straight out before I add my color and my sparkle and everything else, they're gonna look really flared. So I do try to go a little bit tapered in. Um, not a lot, because she likes it really square. Okay. So smoothing out all around the cuticle, making sure there's no bumps, and that it's completely flush. it out straight. I'm going to come underneath so I can make sure both sides are completely straight. And then spin out the free edge and make sure it's smooth. And then check my arch last. And that's going to make sure that I don't start flattening my arch the first thing you do. The last thing you do is going to be checking your arch. If the first thing you do is put your file down and start filing it, you don't know what your shape is yet. You're going to flatten out your nail before you've even created your shape. So create your shape and then look down the barrel to create your arch to make sure that it is the shape that you're going after. Your job. I'll you tell me when I'm off camera. My first production job. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna make sure that's good. Remind myself that this is not a competition and it doesn't have to be like the most perfect nail I've ever made. Because there's always problems. That's you know, I think that's the good thing about competing is that you really learn to recognize all the very slight imperfections, and then you have to learn to let it go. <laughs> right. That's real life, though. That's real because life. it's real life. Because if I spent the kind of time, you know, they give you hours to do a full set of competition nails, and you don't have hours in the salon. Not that kind of time. There's a little lip right here where my Trinity touched. I'm just gonna smooth that out real quick. Yay, color time. dust there. So again, this is Cosmo. Super pretty. I touched her nails in the dust on my table. Shocking. Wipe it all off. I don't normally do a lot of filing because we don't have broken nails, so there's not a lot of dust that mm. gets around. And I can really stress about the little bits that are in here, or I can leave it alone and move on because I'm going to cover it all with glitter anyway. Mm. So, again, restraint on perfection is really important. And that, that's one of the things that I went and did um, before I started using accents. I used uh, Young Nails for about a year, and this was... 16 years ago or something crazy and I went and did uh spent a weekend with Greg and Habib at Young Nails and that was one thing that he kind of talked about is that he has to said you have to remember that when you're in the salon you're not doing competition nails and if you are then you're going to be taking a whole lot more time than you really should be right. so I said okay and I wasn't really competing at the time so I didn't really get it but now I get it so all I'm going to be doing is just blending this up so there's no solid line. I have a little bit of my nail prep on my wipe and I'm just pulling it up so that it's not a line. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be covered in glitter. I 
Yesterday was totally not perfect. I did a video and I made all kinds of mistakes. It was pretty funny. Sort of. <laughs> and all kinds of stuff going on. So if you want to see all kinds of mistakes, and that's what I did. Professor. There's lots of people watching, but no one's saying anything. Focused. So quiet. All right, so. I'm thinking about all the stuff you're saying about perfection. That's mental health for my real life right there. Let it go. Let it go. Let's go get some chocolate. It's going to be all right. I told my brother, we were talking about movies and Frozen. There's a little bit of turquoise there, but we're just going to cover it right up. Oh, yeah. Um, Talking about the Frozen movie. He hasn't seen it. I'm like, it's really cute. You should see it. Right. So if you haven't seen it, you should see it. But, you know, the let it go is in there. You have to. You know what other movies are really cute? What? Yesterday. It's the Beatles movie that's out right now. Oh. Oh, that one. Well, yeah, yeah, you told me about it. Did I tell you last time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't so give cute. what you told me, but you said it was really good. It was really good, yeah. So if you're looking for a movie, I suggest that one's really good. You know, I don't know if it's because it's got a lot of British humor in it, and I'm a big mm -hmm. fan of British humor, mm -hmm. but okay. it was very funny. anyone have any questions about real world nails because that's what this is today is nails in the real world mm -hmm. they wash bathtubs <laughs> they do dishes this is the real world they move but boxes they move. and break nails they have kids what causes shrinkage on the tip thank you for the question uh there's a couple of things that can cause shrinkage on the tip Number one is your base coat. If you're using a base coat uh, that's very slippery, your color is going to slide up and it's, it likes to just self-level, which means it's going to just shrink up. If you are putting it on really thin, your color, um, and it, it's trying to self-level, it might pull up. And uh, so one way to fix it is if you, are, if you have a base coat that quite, is quite slippery, you can do what's called a dry wipe, which is taking an almost um, like barely wet wipe and wiping some of that tacky off right before you do your color. That will help it prevent any slipping. And the number one cause of shrinkage is not having properly mixed color. If your color has a pearlescent kind of look to it in the bottle when you open it, um, or it looks marbled, I guess, not really pearly, but marbled. It is not mixed well, and it need, the pigment needs to be mixed better. Uh, you end up with more of the clear than you do the pigment, and then it, it shrinks on you. So Luxio has quite a few stabilizers, so there's only a couple things that will cause it, and that's definitely it. You want to read those? Okay, from Carrie at Morrison. I love what you're saying about the perfection conflict. I am conflicted by it daily. Amen. Yeah, it's hard. But, you know, if you're going to be doing, like today, I have clients until 10 o'clock. So, oh, 9 to 10. Lord, and is. if I spend too much time trying to make it perfect, I'm not going to be able to keep my time. In. And it, there's a struggle with a lot of texts on timing. And so they think, oh, well, I need more time to be perfect. So they give themselves two hours for a fill. Well, clients typically don't want to sit there two hours for a fill. And if you give yourself two hours for a fill, you're going to take two hours for a fill because it gives you more time to be perfect. <laughs> and I can tell you that from experience, that if I have all the time in the world, then I'm going to use all that time. And so it becomes a challenge to make sure that you're not giving yourself so much time on your fills that you use up you know a two-hour appointment because you want it to be perfect every time um you needed it to be perfect enough for your clients and so you have a standard and so if your standard is you know a certain way then you need to keep that standard so my standard is not 100 percent perfect but maybe my clients think it is well i need to keep that standard of what they think is perfect <laughs> So I know that if I'm leaving, you know, gel polish all over the cuticle, that is something they are not used to. Therefore, they're not going to think it's perfect because they're not used to that. Um, so you have to figure out where your standard is and maintain that for your clients or make it a little bit better. But if you are doing competition nails every time because you have three hours to do their nails and then you start going, okay, I'm going to start, you know, doing my fills in two hours. Well, you're not going to have time to do competition nails. And now they're going to be like, 
Mm-hmm. So you really have to remember and know how you're doing your services and consciously think about those kinds of things. So for those just tuning in, this is Cosmo. We're just applying it uh, probably about two thirds of the nail here. I like to get a full color um, on this design and then I'm just gonna fade it up. So remember we said a mental note earlier to lift your thumb. So when you put your hand in your light, okay. make sure you slightly lift your thumb okay. so that your uh, the light bulbs are seeing this part because this is where we had a little bit of under caring with your last color. Okay. She's a good client. She listens. I try my best. I'm just not coordinated. <laughs> So again, this is not a perfect ombre. It doesn't need to be. All you're doing is blurring this line because uh, you're gonna cover it with glitter. So you just don't wanna have a line, but it does not need to be perfect. All right, in you go, please. Okay, and lift my thumb. Ah, Christine says, please keep up with your videos. They help with new techs like me. I will try. I'm trying to do at least one a week, sometimes two. Um, I just, sometimes I feel like, do I have anything to say? Is there anything anyone wants to see? I don't know, but I've had a couple requests on YouTube, so that helps. All right, so now I'm gonna take a good glob and I'm gonna put it on each nail. Glob, glob, glob. And these auroras, we have 10 of them, and they're awesome because they have three sizes of sparkle in them. So I'm gonna push it up towards the cuticle and then pull back down, and that's gonna help me pull down the chunky glitter and leave some fine glitter up there. That's what helps make it look like a really nice fade. And then I'm gonna dab here in the middle a little bit and do the same thing going down. And then pushing up some of the chunky and keeping the majority of it in the middle of the nail. So pretty. Okay. I might not have put enough glitter on this one. We'll see. So pushing it up. But as you can see, the ombre underneath, it wasn't perfect. You can't even tell because it's just covered with glitter. So it doesn't really need to be. But you would see a straight line if it was there. So it's important to blend that out. you see? Oh, the same ones. Oh, she's reading. I didn't know what she was uh -huh. reading. I'm going to try to be better about my Instagram too and get more pictures posted, even if they're not my pictures of my nails necessarily. Um, some of the colors of Luxio or some of the fun stamping plates that I have because you can't really get how cute they are until you've seen it. And there's such cute ones. I have a new flower foil that's really awesome mm. that I took a picture of yesterday, but I haven't posted it yet because <laughs> I need to get, make sure it's on my website because otherwise people are going to be like, uh, it's not there. Right. I want it. Right. But I did it yesterday. I wanted to make sure it works because if you understand foils, you know that some foils are crap to transfer and you go to push it on. And I mean, I have six different kinds that I had just gotten and I liked the design, they don't transfer worth anything. Mm. We'll stick it with nothing. So I was like, well, these are garbage. So, um, but this new set that I got that I used yesterday, I used it twice actually. Um, I have some very happy people. And uh, I will post a picture of that. Um, maybe sometime this weekend. I have to get to a computer and get it online, but... I don't know that that's going to happen tonight because I'm doing nails so late. So, and I'm bios to update. I got to put Miss Tanya Sisson's bio on the na nail camp page. And we got some class information from a few people. It sounds like your stomach's growing. Did you not eat enough chocolate this not morning? Not yet. Mm -hmm. I left it empty just for your chocolate, just so you know. 
those the growl you hear from the cheesy snack mix around 2 30. <laughs> <laughs> all right so after i've done all of these you do not want to put it in the light you want to go ahead with your chunky glitter oh, okay. so i'm going to take clean my brush off so it's just a little bit on there and this is just a dab and you can be as finicky about placement as you want. I only want one of this color on each one. But there's lots of little bits in this, um, in this mix. And so I try to get a lot of these different colors in there. Um, that one's kind of the bigger circles you kind of have to keep towards the center of the nail if you don't want to have to do a lot of finish filing. Um, I try not to finish file, so I'll be using Options Clear over the top of this um, as her top coat, and as long as everything's flat, typically pretty good about having a finished product without having to do much finish filing. Summer is excited for nail camp. She says she can't wait. Yay, nail camp. I can't wait. It's always so much fun. And this year we have, oh, such a great bunch of educators. Everyone's going to have to really welcome Miss Lisa Comfort. She's amazing. She runs the international nail competitions for um, Nail Olympia. So let me tell you how lucky we are that she's attending nail camp and y'all get to learn from her, especially if you're new and you need to learn electric file. This is a way to get really, really good hands-on and one-on-one -on -one electric file training is at Nail Camp, and it's a lot less expensive than if you were going to a class elsewhere. It's one of the things about Nail Camp. Um, as I've organized it for so long, I really wanted to make sure that, you know, people are struggling to get there, and I want to keep it really affordable. So, you know, I kind of have a cap on how much these educators can charge for their workshops you know you may go um and some of them really embrace it like lauren normally from wildflowers she will charge 150 dollars less than what she charges um normally at a class and so you know and some of them will charge easily 100 to 150 dollars less when it's at nail camp so you have to take that into consideration when you are thinking about how much you're spending to go to education and what the comparison is at nail camp because you're getting you know, all of your meals and lodging and everything paid for. And then, you know, you're paying for a couple of classes, but your classes are so much cheaper. So as a whole, your budget ends up being much less going to nail camp. So I was trying to get a um, kind of like a party bus figured out or something like that. But oh my gosh, the price is so much more expensive than if y'all just rent a car. You can rent a car for 120 bucks for the entire weekend. And if you split it with even one other person, you're talking about only 50 bucks for a rental car just to get to and from camp. If you split it with two other people, the price even goes down even more. So uh, don't let, you know, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get to and from the airport stop you because that's typically not as um, big of an issue. And there, there aren't any nail camps that are going to be right near an airport. So don't try to wait for a location that's going to be right around the corner from an airport. They just don't, the facilities that we use don't exist in your airports. And so they're always going to be a little bit of a drive. Um, so I would suggest it be a really great time for you guys to come and have a good time. So sorry about my rambling, but you know, all I'm doing is dabbing down glitter. So what else am I going to talk about? What I'm just trying to do is look and see that I've got a good color variation. This one, I want to give, make it a double. Hold on. Shake, shake, shake. I want that right there. <laughs> Perfection. Well, you know, I wanted Pick a little. You can choose your battles, right? I, I know. <laughs> I want to have the neon around. And we see the thing is, is that there's gold here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. And so I needed to cover up some of that gold. Yes. Okay? Yes. I, I could imagine. <laughs> There was a method to my All right, so now I'm looking down the barrel to see if there's any glitters that are completely sticking up. And if they are, I'm going to tap them down. So far, so good. All right, in the light. So oh, anyway, yeah, that is how that works. And then we'll do the clear on top. All right, okay. I'm being careful here. I feel like I could turn it off now, but 
I don't know. I'm rambling. Some people maybe like to listen to me ramble. I don't know. Or they like the glitter. That too. But I'm learning a lot from all the terminology. This is cool. The barrel. Oh, I didn't know we talked like that with Nate. <laughs> okay. It's called down the barrel. Oh, sookie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember when I learned that the first time. Um, oof. See all that? That is going to get a nice filing at the end of my service. Um, down the barrel, what, the first time I learned that was, oh my goodness, back when I was brand new and there used to be beauty tech. Now beauty tech was around and for those of you who used to be on beauty tech, shout out, hey. Um, but beauty tech was a message board, old school message board system on a website forum um, before we had texting, chat, before stinking like cell phones even. I'm mm. talking old school. Okay. And uh, she, um, Deb Dorlam used to run that, and she's passed away now, but she used to run that, and she did an online competition, and that was one of the pictures that you had to take is a down-the-barrel shot. Oh, okay. So that's when I learned that terminology. Okay, and I'll read it. Miss Christine said, where will Nail Camp West be this year again? I would love to be able to attend that. Yes, Nail Camp West is the end of October, and it is right outside of Boise. So it's this beautiful drive through the mountains along a river um, right outside of Boise. So if you're flying in, you can fly in from, um, fly straight into the Boise airport. And a lot of people are flying in the night before and then carpooling from there. And if you join the Nail Camp USA Facebook group, uh, then you can kind of chat about, you know, is anyone flying in that has room in their car that I can share with or things like that. Um, that's the way to do it. And, you know, you might be afraid to meet someone new, but, you know, people have made some really great friends off of people that they've randomly like, okay, I don't know who this person is. Are they safe to share in our room the night before? And um, so if you fly in the same day, which is easy if you like, you know, in California, something like that, then uh, you can do that. But if you are flying in the night before, then you will um, want to stay probably just near the airport. Boise is not a huge little town. It's a little town. It's not huge. But um, Nancy Doolittle says, hi, Jessica. Hello, Nancy. And Miss Robin said, loved Deb and beauty tech. Yes. So true. Yeah, so Nancy was, I think, our last. Her and her sister signed up the last day before Nail Camp East. So Nancy, what did you think about Nail Camp East? I know Amy likes to talk about your guys' story because one of you I think was experienced and one not so much. And then Christine says, I'm in Nevada, so that wouldn't be bad at all. No, no, Nevada's not far at all. I used to be in Nevada, did you know that? I grew up in Vegas. Um, and then I ran away. <laughs> Because it's too damn hot. Mm -hmm. um, whenever I have to go back for the trade show, I'm like reminded, oh, yeah, it's like a, it's like a blow dryer in your face at all times. Yes. This is why I don't live here anymore. That's a very I'm beautiful reminded. description. It's true. It really is. It's true. And, you know, when I lived there growing up there, I did not realize how windy it is. Oh, okay. It wasn't until I left and I come back for shows and I'm like, oh, my gosh, the wind is driving me bonkers mm. because we don't have wind here mm -mm. No, and i'm storm. yeah and mm -hmm. i just i forget you forget how windy it is just all the time and so i appreciate the lack of wind mm -hmm. in my world mm -hmm. um you know and it is one of those places where i will go visit mm -hmm. for a show or if mm -hmm. someone wants me to come do a class i'll go do a class haven't done one down there in a while but you know, I wouldn't mind, but I would not do that anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I went to school, I went to college in Reno for two years, which mm -hmm. I did love Reno. Reno would be somewhere I would not mind living, to be honest. Yeah. The mountains are beautiful right there. Tahoe's beautiful. Um, they have a good four seasons. You know, you get a little bit of snow. You get definitely a hot summer. Okay. Um I think their spring and fall is nothing like our spring and fall. We have such a beautiful spring and fall. Mm -hmm. However... They do get a little bit more winter, which I could use a little snow. I miss the snow this year. Nah, we're good with the snow up here, Jess. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> you mean the no snow? No, no, that snow we had this year, it was traumatizing. I did not experience that Oh, snow. well, you didn't get the trauma that the rest of us did. It never stopped. It kept coming. Walking the safe way. Mm-mm. It always snows when I'm gone. And Miss Christine said, I grew up in Vegas also. We moved north to Carson City. The heat is too much for me. I second that. Amen. Mm-hmm. So... The big question is then what high school did you go to? Uh-oh. Here's a little tip. In Vegas, well, it used to be like this. So the old high schools were all named after Westerns. So you had Western, which was, you know, I went to Bonanza. Oh, these are real names? These are real names. Okay, this was checking. the names of the high school. So okay. Bonanza, Western, El Dorado, Durango. Sorry. Sorry about that. I had some scam trying to call me. Um, so El Dorado, Durango... Cimarron was, I think, the first one where it was like, this is not a Western name. Uh, Chaparral, which was like the side of their school, I think, had like Indians on it. Um, Does this go back on the screen? You know, I don't know how that works. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. She went to Clark. Well, Clark was not the name of a Western one, but I guess it, it depends on what side of Vegas you were on. I was on the side where they were all named after Westerns. Uh-huh. Bonanza. Bonanza. Okay. Shout out to Bonanza. I went back from my reunion this last year. That was interesting. And it's funny because, you know, the girls don't really look any different. The guys, however, <laughs> a little bit different. Yeah. I, it was hard to recognize the guys. <laughs> but the girls, I, they look the same, just, you know. And we all color our hair, but you know guys don't color their hair. No. And this is like, we're old enough that you don't color your hair. It is gray. And so it is weird. <laughs> It is weird to see guys with gray hair from, and you're just like, okay, well, you look the, and some of them did look the same. Her hubby went to Bonanza. Oh my goodness. Class of 84. Oh, I'm not, I'm a little younger. And then it says, um, Cheyenne, remember that one? Cheyenne, yeah, yeah, Cheyenne. Yeah. Funny. That is cool. Their names. Yeah, it was cool. It was kind of sad when they started going to like just naming them after people again. Right. You know, like I, all the junior highs were named after people, but I went to Franklin here, so I wish I would have went to like Bonanza or Party Animal or something. <laughs> party. Animal. Something like Tequila High or something. Like. <laughs> now, now. No, I'm. I'm just telling you, I was a wild child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I am not. reformed and cured now. I am a classy old lady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Even I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> so with the circles, I typically try not to have it be like dead center with a big one. So as you saw, I put that on and moved it over. But this is just getting them on there, making a party on the nails. Does it look like a party to you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Wave to everybody I see. Sometimes I like to grab a couple of the little ones. So again, this glitter, I sell it at Love Nails. It's called Costume Party. Um, there's a couple really fun ones. Fat Tuesday is another one that I think is just a really cool oh, that's next. multicolor one. Well, you can't have two rainbow ones okay, at the same okay. time. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not doing it. And uh, if yeah, you're planning no. on doing my nails. So what are we doing next? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm so excited. Just so you know, this is how we decide. <laughs> We just had this whole unit on perfection, <laughs> a whole module. <laughs> we had some vignettes, and now it's nope. This one goes here. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anybody. All right. Just looking down the barrel to see if anything's popping up. All right, in the light. Okay. And good. time for a top coat. So when it comes to top coat, you can use so many different things. You could use Trinity if you wanted to. Um, I like to use Options Clear or Options Crystal Clear. It has just a little bit of, so this one's Crystal Clear, this one's Clear. The difference is, is that Options Clear is flexible, Options Crystal Clear is hard. So I actually like to go with the more flexible one a lot of the times for this. It just adds some extra strength. Um, and people say, but it's flexible. I said, yeah, but sometimes flexible is where it's at. So because I'm going to be doing this a little bit thicker, because I'm just going to encapsulate her whole nails in this glitter, I'm going to do one and then switch because I want this top coat to stay exactly where I put it. 
and I don't want gravity to yank it down. And so you can mess with it. Can you move the jar just a bit? The what? The, yeah, I'm poking it. I didn't want to mess you up. I didn't want to hit the jar with my nails and mess us up. And Christine says, my nails look fabulous. Thank you. I believe the name is Vienna. Vienna, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. She says, hi, Jess. Hi, oh, Vienna. Yes. And, oh, and so, so I love you, Miss Claire. What a fun appointment. Oh, we're a party. We're all types of crazy. She is a party. She's super fun. Thank so, you. If, if you all want to see how my nails are done that I have on, it's going to be with Miss Shayla because yep. she always asks, do you my nails? Yeah. I want your nails. So since I've had some people, you know, um, typically on YouTube or whatever, ask me, hey, did you do a video on how you did your nails? And I'll be like, nope. But now you know that at some point when Shayla comes in, I will do it. And y'all can hang out with Shayla because I like hanging out with her yeah, too. Yeah, this is fun. This is my happy place. And then we'll sneak over for the last of our two hours. We had two hour spots. So we got a few minutes and then we'll go over and do her toes. We're doing the coral. Whatever you say. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> So again, this is just options clear. If you keep a nice light brush, which means I'm floating over the top of the nail, if you let your bristles flare, you're gonna be pressing too hard and this is not gonna work. But if you float your brush over, you can get a nice smooth finish. Brush off anything that comes down the end that's too much. It'll smooth out. And then you can look at your line of light and if there's somewhere that needs bits as it self-levels, you can just do this and give it a second. I let it go in the cuticle level here, so I'm going to get that out. And it's going to smooth out. There we go. Uh, here I come. Please make me happy. That's good. Especially, Very happy nails. Especially when you're someplace you don't want to be or something. You just look at your hands and you're like, screw them. <laughs> yeah. My hands are beautiful. Makes you happy. Well, you like 8,000 jobs now, so. Yep, and all of them have to be respectful of my glitter. Mm -hmm. I respect their little protocols. My nails shouldn't bother you. Mm. Yeah, it's always funny when you get someone that hasn't done glitter before and they're new and they're like, oh, I can't, I can't. I'm in this very, Never. you know, upper job and it's just not professional i'm like who says a glitter is right. not professional is right. this a rule that someone created at some point just because right. things shine right. can't have them i will tell you this makes so you happy some of the places i go the ladies started getting their nails done now they're not just nails but i was happy to see them take the leap <laughs> and then they try fun colors so i'm like don't you feel fun they're like yeah i'm like let her out that's good you're mm -hmm. breaking the mold mm -hmm. of all the people that mm -hmm. were thinking that you can't live no. life if you don't it doesn't can't do it. have fun nails. It doesn't change the work I do. It enhances it because if I don't want to hear what you have to say, I just look at my hands and I don't have to cuss you out. So this is wonderful. It makes me happy. Well, and it's like, you know, we all don't wear the exact same black suit mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why would you wear the exact same nails right. as everybody else? Right. Be you. Let that smooth out for a second. It's going to self-level into place. And this is how I encapsulate all these glitters without finish filing. Okay. Is right this now. awesome? Top coat options, clear. And this is an LED, so it really only needs about 30 seconds, but obviously it's gonna get a little bit more because we're going back and forth into the light, which is totally fine. But this extra bit of uh, gloss adds so much strength. So her nails um, are pretty darn bulletproof. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I used this on the last set because I didn't have uh, so much glitter on her last set. So, you know, maybe if I had done this, then her thumb wouldn't have broke. But, you know. I'm repaired and sexy again. So we're all better, mm -hmm. so it's okay. Okay. And I won't be moving this time. Right, no I'm more done. moving. I retire. It's always a mystery what I'm going to do next. 
I'm thinking purple. Dun, 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 dun. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> I could say I'm thinking black, white, <laughs> green, yellow. You'd be like, okay. Oh, yeah, I love it. I'm rolling. And what, what do you always say at the end of your Th service? These are my favorite. <laughs> Should I've been make... saying this for like 10 years every after each set, but it's the truth. After each one, it's my new favorite. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we still got one more to go. Yeah. She makes me laugh. She's lovely to have around. I'm lucky to have such good clients. I miss a couple. There's a couple that when I moved did not follow because they were already driving like 45 minutes and then I moved another 20 minutes away. So... But you come from the south. This might even be faster for you. Well, I will tell you this. My appointment today was at 9. I left my house at 7.36. But I got. I had to make one stop to go get a donut. Don't tell anybody. And then <laughs> I got here about 20 minutes early. But with traffic, you never know. But it's a peaceful ride. There's no kids in the car. You're like, get me out of yeah, the house. Cool. Yeah, there's no kids. But, yeah, I mean, they were already coming. They were coming from Snoqualmie. Yeah. So the ones that the specific three that i miss a lot um from near the airport because it's so fun so but they went someone good you know it was partially because i left for so long earlier in the year i was gone for two months and so some of them just you know some of my old clients just took their nails off they were like i'm not going anybody else right. and then when i moved then it was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna get them back on so i have a lot of poor people out there with absolutely nothing on their nails right now, which is really sad. Mm -hmm. um, but it has left my schedule a little bit light, so I've been taking new clients, which is always fun. Right. But I definitely miss the ones that I've been seeing for so many years. Right. They've been through, like, weddings and stuff. Oh, they, yeah. You know? Yeah, we dated Jerry tough. <laughs> yeah, we were all dating him. I'm just making sure that everything it looks smooth. All right, in you go, please. One day All I, right, last one. One day I'm asked, Jared, how was it dating 64 women <laughs> at the same time? <laughs> He's a good sport, though. Oh, he though. was. He still is. He is, yeah. He goes to get our camper today. You know, we didn't, because we were packing the move last year, like, we just didn't go camping last summer. Right. It was like our determination was to get the house ready to sell, and that was it. Right. So it's been like two summers, really, since we went camping last year. Oh, so this is the first big trip this since? Our first, oh, okay, yeah, cool. our first weekend away, and then I've got Danielle coming to fill orders next week, oh, we or after Danielle. next week, because I'm... Go to Yellowstone, which... Yeah, wait, yeah, hold on. We usually, we have to go over the schedule. Where are we, so we're going camping this weekend, and then we're going to Yellowstone when? After that. Okay. For Larissa's birthday. Okay, how long will we be gone? Uh, just a week. Oh, okay. Just a week, and, okay, darling. but all the orders are going out. Danielle's coming, and she's checking, make sure she knows where everything is in the new place and all that, so she's a superstar. She makes and sure we love Danielle, out. like, absolutely. And everybody's still getting glitter. I don't have the new one right now, but there's a neon glitter that's going out right now. That'll change um, shortly because we will make new glitter for August. So whatever you ordered, you guys like your glitters. If you if you're watching and you like and you like your glitters that I send you, I hope you do. So my this one gets all look how filed that it's so filed and messed up. They get so wonky, and this one looks wonky. They get so wonky doing everyone else's nails. So that only needs about thirty seconds, which has been that long. So now we are going to take the shine off. They're totally totally smooth, you guys. So there's no finished filing. The only filing I'm gonna do. Thumb, yeah. is hitting these sidewalls and making sure that everything is as smooth under here as possible. A little on the end. And then I'm going to always go from underneath the end. There's a little bit there, make sure that's smooth. So then I'm going to zip underneath the end of this. That's her new nail. And then under every nail, make sure the end is thin out. Miss mm -hmm. um, Carlette says, yes, love 
the neon and Miss Carrie says such fun summer nails. Yes, thank you, darling. Yeah. And then we are gonna go because I gotta run over and do her toes before my next one. So this is a longer appointment for longer nails. Mm -hmm. Um so you guys need to make sure that you're pricing for your time. So this is what I typically call a couture fill in my salon. It's more than just an art. It's typically length and art. Um, so I charge by time for that kind of stuff. So you guys just need to make sure you're charging correctly um, for the amount of time you're spending and doing. But uh, again, see, oh, let's smooth that right out. Much better. Super important. You want to thin out the free edge every time. Okay, guys? Last step every time. All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed these fabulous fun nails, and we will catch you next time. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Carrie. Bye, guys.